We are in Jasper Active, Microsoft Word 2019. I'll be doing lesson one, activity number two, working with documents. If you haven't tried this before, you're going to click on learn. If you have done it before, click on practice. I'm going to quickly uncheck all of this because I have already tried this one. So in this activity, we're going to learn to create new documents and to add text. So in this exercise, we'll create new documents and then switch between them to add or change text in the documents. So you'll see that when you open up Jasper Active, sometimes there's not a document already here. Always check your instruction panel to see what you need to do. So our first step is to create a new blank document. There's a couple of ways to do this. Um, so it's assuming that we already know how to do that. Most of us do. But you can go to File, New, and double click a blank document. Or if you click into Word, you can press and hold Control and tap the letter N to use the keyboard shortcut to create a new blank document. I'm going to mark that as answered and go to step two. So we're gonna create a document based on a template. Click the File tab and click New. And then here you're gonna see there's our blank document, but we also have all of these additional documents showing. These are all templates. So templates are just documents that are already set up that make it easy for you to just enter information and go. So you can select any one of these templates you like. I'm going to go with the restaurant brochure. This is going to open up a pop-up for me. I'm going to click on create. And this is going to, Word will create this new document based on my template. So you can see here, this is what it looks like. Now I've got a lot of text that's in here already. This is just placeholder text for me. And a lot of the time, if I click on it, I know it's a little hard to see with this template, but you can see there's uh, that it selects the text for me. So these are all text fields. They're set up for us so that we can just type right in them and it will keep all of the formatting, but it will write right over that text. All right, so we're just looking at what this looks like. We don't actually need to do anything. It does want us to close the document without saving. So I'm gonna go to the file tab and go down to close. It's gonna give me a pop-up that asks if I want to continue to close this file without saving. Yes, I do. Mark that step as answered and go to step three. All right, it's going to ask me to open up a file. Uh, so what you notice in here is that down at the bottom, there is a file that's already there. So if you want a quick shortcut, you can always double click this, but I'm gonna go through finding the file. Um, so I'm gonna go to File tab and click on Open. When you go to open a document, the Browse button down here, and Jasper Active is asking us to do it this way. So click File, click Open, then click Browse. So the Browse button down at the bottom, that's going to actually open up our File Explorer for us. Okay, so we're going to see all of our files are here. And it wants us to navigate to the Jasper Active Resource Files folder and then open the agenda template. Now, there's your computer might be set up a little bit differently, so you might need to identify where your Jasper Active folder is. For me, it's going to be under this PC and then in my Windows C drive. Here's my Jasper Active folder right here. And then when I open that, there's going to be my name folder. So I'm just double clicking on each one of these folders to open it up and see what's inside. So here I've got three different folders, my projects, that's where we're gonna save all of our files, and resource files, which is where we're gonna open most of our files. So I'll double click resource files, and there is the agenda template document I'm looking for. So I'm gonna click on it once, and then I'm gonna click the open button. And I can see it's opened up an agenda template for me. 
I'm going to select mark as answered and go to step number four. So enter text in a text box. So in most cases, when you create a new document using a template, the template includes some areas called fields that have been set up to assist you with what information to enter in that location. For example, you see right here, it has meeting title, date, start time, end time, and a bunch of other fields in here as well. So to use these fields, all you have to do is click on them and type. So we don't have to hit backspace or delete. And what I've noticed is that it will mark us wrong if we do that. So we're practicing how to click right onto a field. You'll see it will select the text in there and then type right over it. So in this case, it wants us to type soccer coach peewee league. So we're clicking the meeting title field and I am typing soccer coach peewee league. Check your spelling and your capitalization. Make sure you don't have any extra spaces at the end. And then it's just asking us to look at other fields that are here. So I pointed out a couple of those just a second ago. So like start time, end time, item one, there's a lot of other fields in this agenda. We don't need to do anything with those. I'm gonna go ahead and click mark as answered and go to step five. Step five is to close without saving. So we've done this once already. We can go to file and close, or we can always click the X button up here in the upper right hand corner. It's gonna ask us again if we wanna continue to close without saving. Yes, we do. When we're done with that, I'm gonna click mark as answered and submit and submit my results. There we go and return to Jasper Active.